Hey everybody, it's Joe, <laughs> your adult services librarian at the Artesia Public Library. And today we are making paper roses for Valentine's Day. So there's two different kinds. This is the one I focused on because it looks more like a rose. But we can also go over this second one, which is easier to make. So, we have kits available at the Ar Artesia Public Library. You can pick them up during curbside hours, which are Tuesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now, are you ready? So, an another thing, I'm going to be posting the links of the tutorials that I got um, later on in the comment section for this video. So, First, in the kits, you have book pages. There's four because you don't need four, but you have four because if you're anything like me, you mess up regularly. <laughs> so, <laughs> also, we have a piece of wire that has a little hoop at the end. A paintbrush for glue, glue. Um, I added a straw because the original video, the original tutorial uses just the wire, but I found that it made a too thin of a stem, so I inserted the wire into a bendy straw so that it could be a little thicker. You also have, well, all you need is scissors and a pencil if you're going to use it. Not necessary, but it makes little details that bring out the realness of the rose. So, the first thing you're going to do is take one of your book pages and you're going to cut off oops cut off the white borders so you just have the writing and don't you like my green scissors miss jessica our team librarian gave those to us for christmas I love them. So you trim off the white, get the scraps out of your way, <laughs> and you're going to fold it in half. And I just rip it. You can cut it if you want to, but. You're going to fold it in half and then separate the two halves. And the reason I tear it is because it's easy to tear. And when you cut it with the scissors, it kind of leaves a lip on the edge. And I didn't like that. So you cut those in half. And then you take this piece. And you're going to fold it over so that you turn it into a square. So you're making a triangle like that. And then you cut off this piece. So you have a triangle. And you set this piece to the side. You are going to use that later. So now you're going to fold it in half and keep it like a triangle. And then you're going to fold it in half again. And make it crisp. Okay, so what you're going to do now, if you need to, you can use your pencil. You're going to hold the folded edge. And the reason I say this is because this is really important. I did this twice while I was making the sample. 
I cut off the folded edge and I ended up with a bunch of little pieces. So don't do that. <laughs> so hold it by the folded, the big folded edge and you're gonna kind of cut a rounded edge. I don't know if you can see that really well. It's hard to draw in the air. So <laughs> you're gonna cut that rounded edge from the multiple folded pieces to the single folded piece. <laughs> So what that does is it makes this little flower pattern and we're going to fold it back up and trim, cut a little teeny bit off the end because we want to have a hole in the middle of that. flower. So, and we're going to do that again with the other piece of paper. So that, and, and so you'll have one, you'll have three of these. So once you have three of these, all with the little holes cut out, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut a section out of one of them. Now, what you're going to, so you have one section missing from one with the little hole. You have two sections missing from the second, and then you're going to cut three sections from the third. So they're all going to be different sizes. Okay? So first comes the gluing part. You're going to take the one with the just the one section and you're going to take this piece and connect it to the piece next to it so it makes a little funnel. You're going to open your glue. Whew, that smells strong. You've got your paintbrush. And you're going to paint the glue all on this first section. And again, it's hard to do this in the air. So you paint it, you can see that it's curling. And then you're gonna take this piece and you're gonna connect it and you're gonna glue it so that it does this. Nice little rounded area. So you're gonna do that with all three pieces. Give me just a sec. And just that this isn't really the time for me to answer that question. And when I know, you will know. I promise. Okay, so there's the second one. And... The third one. This one's a little trickier to do because it's going narrower. You want to make sure that you keep your little holes in. There we go. 
So while those dry, we're going to work on the interior pieces. So the section that goes in the very middle is this piece. And you're going to roll this as tight as you can. And again, I can't hold it in the air and roll it, so give me just a second. There we go. So you've got this little piece and you're going to take this edge and you're going to glue it down. And you're going to hope it's going to stay closed. <laughs> there we go. So there's that. Now, with this one, with the two piece, and again, these are the pieces that you cut out of the hole earlier. So, with this one, you're kind of, kind of lay it over so that it does the circle. And, of course, again, you're going to paint the edge with glue. There you go. Again, you want to make sure there's the hole in the middle. And if you find that you've actually sealed up the bottom, you can take it and trim it up. So, here's the third piece. Painting glue on with these little paint brushes is awesome. It makes it go so much faster. Thank you, Donna. I do too. Okay, so, and this one's gonna be slightly bigger. Than those other two. So, now, you're going to take your little looped piece of wire and you're going to stick it through. Hey, you don't want hair attached to it. It's not very attractive. My hair is always falling out. Okay. <laughs> you're going to stick your wire through and it's going to go through the end. First through that little circular piece. And don't like rip it. Don't try to force it to go through. Just kind of gently tug it, tug it. And when it stops, it stops. It's not, it's just there to hold the pieces together. Now you're gonna take the second one that you made for the center and slide it over. And then the third. And now what I'm going to do is so that it's not all going the same, leaning the same direction, is I turned it, I'm turning it so that it looks more natural. And yet it goes where it was. <laughs> there we go. Now, you get to the big ones that you've done, and you... Insert, insert, and 
and you're down to your last one. And you kind of just tug it in place. And they're not going to be perfect because things aren't always perfect. So there's my rose. Now the reason I had you, you had the pencil, before you would put it on here, if you wanted it to curl, like this one is slightly curled, you would take your pencil, take the end, and kind of roll it and it'll flap open a little, giving it the little curled rose petal appearance. So there's my rose. Now, the next thing you can do is take one of your book pages and Cut, the, cut it into strips. However thick you want. And what you're going to do, well, before I do that, I'm going to put glue at the end to hold my flower in place. Because it likes to wander. And I don't have, if I do this, once it dries, I don't have to keep pushing it, holding it down. Okay, so you can do this or you can do this part with the straw. What you can, what you do is paint your glue along the wire and take these strips of paper that you've cut and kind of wrap them around the wire. Now, I have arthritis in my hands. So when I did this, it was really difficult, but for other people, it might not be the same. And you just kind of wrap it around your wire. The other thing that you can do that might be easier, let's see, and you just do that all the way down, is take your strip, hold on, I'm gonna paint this so it stays shut. The other thing you can do, if you're, if you've ever done paper mache, is stick your strip in and dip it into the glue and then wrap it around the wire. It's really messy, but if you're doing, if you're used to doing paper mache, that shouldn't matter. <laughs> so there's that. So you would do that all the way down the wire. And you could stop there if you want. If you're like me and you thought that the wire was a little too small of a stem, you can take the straw that I put in the kit and insert the wire into the straw. Like that. And then you wrap the newspaper around the straw. I like having a thicker stem, and this was a lot easier if you're like me and you have arthritis. It gives you a bigger tube to work with. And then you wrap it around. And this takes some practice. But if you're making multiple roses, it shouldn't be a problem. So, 
you wrap it around all the way down just like I did on this one. Now, once you get that taken care of, paint your strip so it stays in place. <laughs> with the glue. Now, there are an infinite number of ways that you can make this your own, um, besides just following the tutorial and listening to me ramble. Um, there we go. What you can do is add leaves, and if you'll see, that's what I did on this one, you can add leaves. And what you do to make the leaves is get one of your pieces of paper that you trimmed off, fold it in half, cut or tear the along the fold, and then Take those pieces, put them together, and draw a leaf shape, or cut a leaf shape. I am not perfect. I do not know the exact shape of leaves on roses, so I just did one I liked. Really simple. And then you cut that pattern out of both pieces of paper. And keep in mind, if you do draw on the pages, you might be able to see the markings, so you might want to keep it in pencil and erase it or what have you. So here are my two leaf patterns, my leaf pieces. And just so you can get a more realistic looking leaf, you can trim just cut these tiny little nooks, cuts in it. I don't know if you can see that really well. There you go. Just cut those along the edges on both sides. So, you can see where it's, there you go. So what you'll do is glue it, kind of fold it a little, and glue it to your stem. And then once it's dry, you can do that whole pencil rolling curved thing so that it Whoops, there we go, so that you can see it. And it looks like a leaf. The other thing you can do is take your other pieces that you've trimmed, cut them in half, and then kind of make a kind of a, a bell shape with a point this is totally not perfect <laughs> and then you cut that out through all the pieces of paper So you have these little pieces, and then you attach them and wrap them around at the bottom of your rows so that they look like the piece that the flower buds out of. 
I'm not going to lie, this was a pain. <laughs> but it does look good once you get, get it done. So, there's that. You put glue. You can't glue this enough because it, it, you're making the paper do what it was not meant to do. But it can look gorgeous when you're finished. Leaves, pain in the neck. I think they call it epilepsies. I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, these little pieces and all, it does come out to look like a gorgeous little flower. Now, one of the things my idea was is that you can cut the uh, straw and everything at a certain point and then you'll have the wire that's inside and you can use that to stick into like, you know, the florist blocks so that you can make a bouquet. Other ideas you can do with this, you can spray paint or you, or you don't even need spray, spray paint. You can paint the stem green and your leaves green um, or gold or whatever color, whatever color you want. Um, you can get a sponge with some paint and just kind of brush it over the tops of your roses and you can get a nice pretty color. You can paint glue on the edges and dip your flat, uh, rose in glitter. There's all kinds of ways you can make this your own. Now, for those of you that this is too complicated and I know it's not easy, we have another kind of rose that you can make. Now, I just kind of worked with one of our other staff members and just rolled up a piece of paper to make a stem for this. But we have this one, which is a lot easier to make. And all you do is take one of your pieces of paper. And on this one, I trimmed off the white on it too. So that it came out looking like this. And I took, you can do three, four, um, and it's just, you cut off the white and then you fold it in half and tear it in half. Just like that. And then you want three or four pages and then you're gonna cut, see the spiral? You're gonna cut a spiral out of these pages. So you just kind of Cut your spiral and you get a little wider as you go along. All through all four pages. And I did them all at the same time. Sometimes that does a little resistance that can hurt your hands, but it wasn't a big deal for me. Anyway, so you cut a spiral, and I started the spiral right here, so I'm just gonna kind of cut at an angle across those pages to cut off the part that I don't need. So you have a spiral, and then you're just gonna start at the center of your spiral and roll. And you just roll and roll around the spiral. And yeah, you have to kind of shift it every once in a while so that it goes where it's supposed to go. That's what makes the cone shape to give you your rows. And this one's a lot easier to do. I just think the other one looks prettier. <laughs> and you roll, and you roll, and you roll, and you roll. Do I have another wire in here? 
Yes, I do. So you roll and you roll, 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 <laughs> until you get to here. Whoops. And then you glue it shut. And make sure you get in between those pages because there were, how many did I do? Four. So you want to make sure the pages stick to each other. Looks like I made a little rosebud. And you can use the wire on that too. I needed a bigger hole though. So, <laughs> and you just kind of separate the pages. I think I glued too early. Let's try that again. Let's take that off. Good thing this is wet glue. I say that and then there we go. Now you glue it, you have to let it go a little bit, and then glue it. <laughs> and then it fell out. So, I say this was easier. <laughs> Maybe it's just not for me. <laughs> there we go. And you have a little spiral. Now, what you can do with these is you can, you don't have to have a stem or like um, I did with the other one, you can use the wire with the hoop to make a stem, a straw. You can, we rolled up pages, whoops, rolled up a page and used it to make just a little cone stick. You can put something in the middle, like a bead, to be in, um, make it a decorative rose. That's what I think. So that's how you make paper roses. Thank you for joining me today. You guys have a great weekend and rest of the week. <laughs> and join me on Friday at noon. We'll be doing some bullet journaling and seeing what we can do with that. Y'all have a great day. Bye.